Hello, fabulous fourth grade mathematicians. Today we are practicing um, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Our newer learning target of all is that we can subtract mixed numbers. Today there'll be a little bit of a mix of both. Let's first review adding mixed numbers. If I have one and three fourths plus two and two fourths. I know I'm going to go with fractions first, right? I know my denominator stays the same. I'm going to add my numerators then. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus, now I'm going over to my whole numbers. 1 whole plus 2 wholes is 3 wholes. 1 plus 2 is 3. Now I'm noticing I'm not quite done yet. I have a fraction greater than a whole here, what your family calls an improper fraction. I need to convert 5 fourths to its own mixed number. I know that that's really saying 5 divided by 4. 4 goes into 5 one whole time. When I do my subtraction, I have 1 remainder 1. I'm going to cross this out to remind myself that I converted 5 fourths to 1 whole. My remainder is my numerator. And whatever the denominator was before, the denominator stays the same. So 5 fourths is really 1 whole and 1 fourth of another, or 1 whole with a remainder left over of 1. Now I need to add my whole numbers together. I get four and a fourth. Let's now think about a very similar process, but this time we're going to subtract. We started doing some of these last week, but this is our newer learning target. We can subtract mixed numbers. I'm going to start with three and five eighths. Subtract one and two eighths. I know that I'm going to do fractions first. I always put down my denominator because I know it stays the same and I don't want to accidentally subtract that. Then I'm going to subtract my numerators. 5, subtract 2. 5 take away 2 is 3. Three whole pizzas. I took one of those pizzas away. I have two pizzas left. Two and three-eighths. Now, I'm going to do a type of mixed number subtraction that I know is going to require some ungrouping. For example, again, I go fractions first. Denominator stays the same, right? Now, if I try to subtract two, take away three. Or two, subtract three. Can't do that, can I? You can't have two Jolly Ranchers and try to give three away. So I know that what I need to do then, is I need to ungroup this whole, okay, over here. Some of you call it borrowing still. Technically called ungrouping now. Three. Okay, when I took that four and made it a three, what I'm really doing and what I can't do is when we did this with whole numbers, you would just put a one here, right? Because you took a set of tens over and you put a one. That doesn't work with fractions. Instead, when you cross over into the fraction first side, you have to write the whole fraction that equals one. Okay, you are bringing a whole over, but we have to translate to fraction world. To do that, we always look at the denominator. Since the denominator, the downstairs number, the four, is there, I'm going to write this fraction over here because four fourths is one whole in this problem. Not every problem, but for this problem, four fourths is one whole. I brought over the one whole. It went like this. 
It's fraction land though, so I have to write it as a fraction. Now I need to see, what am I, what am I left with here? Two fourths plus four fourths is six fourths. Six fourths, take away three fourths. Denominator stays the same. Six subtract three is three. Now remember, I don't have four anymore, I had a three. So three subtract one is two. Two and three fourths. Here's this whole thing again. Let's talk through it one more time. I could not take away three from two. Two subtract three, not possible. I ungrouped this hole here. I changed the four to a three because I brought that one over to fraction land. When we get over here to fraction land, I wrote what that one hole would be. And I knew what to put here for a numerator and denominator by looking at this denominator because that tells me the number of parts in the whole. Since that's a four, I wrote that one hole as four fourths. I had to add that hole to what was already there, which was two fourths. And that gave me for my top fraction, six fourths. Then I did six fourths, subtract three fourths, and I got three fourths, three holes, Take away one hole is two holes, two and three fourths. Do one more and then set you free for your assignment today. Being awesome listeners, I know it's hard. Let's do five and two fifths. Take away two and four fifths. I know right away I've got a problem. Can't have two, take away four. Ungroup this four, five and make it a four. When I do that, I'm bringing a hole and adding it over here. This time my denominator, my downstairs number is a five. So I'm gonna write my hole like this, five fifths. Because if you eat five out of five pieces, you will have eaten one hole. That's the hole that I brought over. I add that five fifths to what was already there to get seven fifths. And then I know seven fifths take away four fifths is three fifths. Four take away two or subtract two is two. Two and three fifths. Okay. Today your assignment is can be found in Google Classroom and it gives you an opportunity to practice a little bit of adding, subtracting, and subtraction with ungrouping. Take your time. Okay, you've got this, you all can do challenging things and you're going to do great. Just follow those same steps every time. Fractions first, then whole numbers. Always look at that denominator to tell you what to write for your whole number fraction. You're going to do awesome. Miss you all, send you big time hugs. Hope you have a great day.